Welcome back to Mr. Speller's Math Tutorials. It's me, AJ. Today we're tasked with finding the arc length. All right, let's go ahead and get started. With the uh, arc length here, there's a formula that should come to mind, and that formula is the formula for circumference. And that formula is equal to, oops, let's switch to the pen. C is equal to 2 pi r, where r is the radius or C is equal to pi D, where D is the diameter. We're going to use the first formula here. So C is equal to two pi R. And in this particular example, we want to find the entire distance around this circle. So our arc length is this entire arc that we're finding. Well, to find that arc, we're actually finding 360 degrees out of 360 degrees. So that's the part that we don't normally see here because we're normally finding the entire length around the, around the circle. So 360 degrees divided by 360 degrees. Well, anytime your numerator and denominator are the same, that means that they simplify down to just one. And I'm multiplying that by two times pi. And in this case, the radius is three. So here I have one times two to be two times three to be six. And I'm multiplying that by pi. And if I want the approximate answer, I need to multiply six times the decimal approximation for pi. And we're going to do that using the TI uh, Inspire. So we're going to press the um, 6 key, going to press the pi key, going to press control, oops, I'm sorry, press pi here, going to press control, and then I'm going to press the enter key to get to the approximation. And here we see that 6 pi is approximately 18.85. And in this case, that's going to be feet. So 18.85 feet around uh, this circle. Now, we're not, we're not going to always be tasked to find the entire arc length. We're going to be tasked to find a part or a subset or subsection of the arc length. So in this particular example, we're finding the arc length of this section here. So again, we're still going to use this base of 2 pi r, but we need to make sure that we're multiplying it by the portion of the circle that we're trying to find the arc length of. So here we're going to still use the formula. And actually, I'm going to switch it up and say L for the arc length. I'll call that L. So L is equal to 140 degrees, which is the part out of a total of 360 degrees, which again is just going to be a percentage or a fraction of the entire circumference. We're going to multiply that by two times pi and then by the radius. In this case, we see the radius is two. So now we have 140 degrees and two times two is four. So that's going to be times four pi and then divided by 360 degrees. Well, the degrees are going to cancel. And then I know four goes into both four and 360. So I'm left with 140 pi and 360 divided by four is actually 90. I have some zeros here so I can divide by 10. This turns out to be 14 over nine pi. And to get the approximation, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the TI Inspire and I'm going to uh, divide out the 14 uh, by nine and then multiply by the approximation of pi. So let's go back over. So here we're going to have 14 divided by 9. And actually what I can do is I can put 9.0 here. I'm going to put this in parentheses. And then I'm going to multiply it by pi. I put in the, uh, the decimal point here, 0.0, because now the calculator is going to automatically go into approximation. I won't have to click Control and then the um, Enter key to get to approximation. So I'm just going to press Enter. And we see here that that is approximately 4 and or 4.89. So let's place this, place this here, 4.89, and our units here are centimeters. So the arc length around this, uh, the arc length here for the second triangle, I mean second circle, is uh, 4.89 centimeters. All right, I hope that you like this tutorial. Um, if you like it, please like it, please comment. And as always, thank you for watching.